The woman in our next story was afraid to sleep in her own home, except in a tiny spot huddled underneath her kitchen sink. 700 Club reporter Gorman Woodfin has the details. Maria Lasella had great kids, a big house, plenty of money, and a failed marriage. She was unhappy and she was afraid. They knew, my children knew that I was unhappy. They, they had seen me all, you know, they found me crying most of the time they came from school. We had a, a real nice outward mask before people, but inside the house, it wasn't like that. Uh, words that I would use would be depression, uh, misery. Uh, I'd always come home and I'd find her crying. One time I, I I even had a dream that uh, I had died and I was much happier dead than I was alive. And I told some of my friends I had no reason to laugh. Her inner fears became so intense that they began to affect Maria physically. I had headaches that uh, the doctor didn't know nothing else to do. After a while, the doctor says, uh, you're immune to everything I'm giving you. He says, I, I don't know what else to do. He says, with these pains that you have. So when we built this big home, 5,000 square foot home, I was always afraid to be home. I would never go to bed. I would build my bed by my sink, by the sink. And uh, that's where I would sleep until the kids would come home. That's the only place I found that I was safe. And I don't know why I did that. Um, in my bedroom, I felt I was not safe. In the family room, I felt I was not safe. In the living room, I felt I was not safe. But just by the sink, between the nook and the sink, I felt safe. One day, Maria decided suicide was her only answer. Just thought that, that was the only way out. So I had this, this bottle of tranquilizers, and I thought that I'm going to take them all. This so I'll never wake up to the reality. But before she took the pills, Maria turned on the television, and a man she didn't even know told her what she needed to do. I heard Pat saying, he, he says, I, I see a little mama, you're going to kill yourself. And when I heard that, I turned and I, and I saw Pat on TV, and he had his eyes closed. He says, well, you don't need to do that. He says, you think you, you want to hand your life today? He says, but if you do what you what we're going to tell you to do, he says, your life will start today. Pat said, uh, yeah, just invite him to come into your heart and your life will start today. You don't need to die today. Your life will start. I kneeled down in the front of the television and I repeated the center prayer. Maria had been involved in churches all her life, but she had never accepted Jesus Christ into her heart. And she'd never studied the Bible. The day when I, I, I received Jesus Christ, Pat said on television, he says, if you have a Bible, open the Bible every day, he said, and read it, even two, three verses, even uh, one chapter a day, but open that Bible and start reading the Bible. But the amazing part of Maria's story is how that one 700 Club program not only reached out to Maria, but ultimately to hundreds of people. It was like a ripple effect. Just as a pebble hits the water and the circles keep spreading out wider and wider, the ripple effect began when all of her children came to the Lord. I just saw joy on her. There was a light on her face. And we had everything financially. We had achieved many things, but that can't take the place of the inner thing that I didn't have. And she demonstrated it just in her life, and I began to seek her out about it. Maria began to devour the scriptures, and she was asked to lead a woman's Bible study. And the ripple effect from that 700 Club program continued. The Bible study ultimately became a church. I and mean, if someone would have told me that uh, we would be pastoring a church that my mother founded, I would never have believed it. Oh yes, I was dead, and I became alive. Oh yes. Is, is that the God of all the universe stopped a national television program to talk to Maria, to describe her situation. I have never seen Maria before until just then. 
But God knew what was going on in her heart and life. And not only did he know, he had the solution.